Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Uh, welcome to my uh, Honda Civic. You're probably wondering why I'm in my car. I'm actually on my lunch break right now and um, a lot of times I do my videos after work and on certain days I'm pretty tired and I have a pretty busy schedule today so I decided to do a book review today on um, the Eat This Not That series. Uh, here's the restaurant survival guide right here. You can see that. And then there's another one, the Eat This Not That Supermarket Survival Guide. My girlfriend recently went to the local library and uh, I asked her to pick up these uh, two books because I wanted to do a book review and go through it. So I just wanted to point out some of the positive aspects and negative aspects of the um, book. The book uh, mostly is um, pretty positive and it's a pretty popular book. The whole basis of this book is to choose certain foods over others, whether it's in the supermarket or if it's in uh, a fast food joint, for instance. Uh, I'll give you a quick sample. This one is a Hardee's uh, Eat This Little Chicken Cheeseburger over Not That Charbroiled Chicken Club Sandwich. And it has a breakdown of the calories in there. Hopefully you can see that. But uh, pretty, if you can't see that, the Little Chick Cheeseburger has 450 calories and the Charbroiled Chicken Club Sandwich has 560 calories. So based on that premise, you will you would have eaten uh, 100 less calories, give or take. That's pretty much what the book's basis is on. Um, there's some very good things about this book. The one, the one I'm going to look at first is the Supermarket Survival Guide one. Uh, I looked through it and there's some really good... Um, areas of the book. One section that's very good is the section that talks about the benefits of eating your green vegetables. For one, asparagus um, says the payoff folate, a B vitamin that protects the heart by helping to reduce inflammation. You got avocados, plenty of cholesterol lowering monounsaturated mono fat. Goes on and on. Arugula, vitamin K, which may improve insulin sensitivity, offering protection against diabetes, etc., etc. Um, it goes into other um, non-green vegetables as well, such as carrots, which uh, have are packed with uh, beta carotene, the source of vitamin A, which helps fight off infections and whatnot. And there's a lot of good things about this book. Um, just want to skim through it. And this restaurant survival guide has some good sections of the book as well. For instance, there's a cheat sheet that has all your uh, popular places to eat. Wendy's, McDonald's, uh, Jack in the Box, and it has the calories and stuff. It's not as beneficial because um, out in California, at least, there are certain laws now that actually has the nutritional information availab available on the menu. But it's good to have um, to keep this in handy. It never hurts. And uh, there's another section right here, um, sne Sneaky Secrets, the restaurants don't want you to know. And there's a little little section right there, and uh, it's a pretty good article. Uh, it just talks about, um, you know, what ac what's actually in a real chicken nugget and, and stuff like that. And there's another good section right here, which you should read. It's uh, Seven Habits of Highly Obese People. And it kind of goes into the, um, different stuff such as they use larger plates, they eat while looking at the food, they eat with maximum efficiency, they clean their plates and so on so on, they skip breakfast. So there's a, a lot of good section, uh, good areas of this book as well as um, there's one called 16 at No Diet Weight Loss Tips. And um, there's another list right there and it talks about, you know, um, having friends that are fit it will have a good influence on you as well um, order small drink more water and stuff like that so overall these books uh, the supermarket survival and restaurant guy there are different editions but these are the only two that I uh, got from the library are pretty good so with that being said with these books the negative aspect is uh, something that I wanted to point out and what I wanted to say is with these uh, books they market it as the no diet weight loss solution but for somebody who isn't as health conscious and or not into health and fitness or just a newbie and trying to learn about um, ways to lose weight reading this gives off the impression that as long as they choose foods that are on the not that side of the book because this is a eat this not that they're gonna be fine and that's just not the case if you're trying to lose weight these foods should not be a part of your daily diet. 
this is basically choosing the lesser of two evils and that's the problem I have with this book you know I don't want people to think that oh I have this this uh, crafty these two crafty books as long as I eat on the side of eat this as opposed to not that I'm gonna lose weight and that's just not the case you still have to eat clean try to stay away from the processed foods and diet and exercise that's the key it's good to have this once in a while but if you're eating these types of foods that are in here all this processed stuff you're going to have a hard time losing the weight you're going to be constantly teasing your appetite and your palate and you want to slowly wean off this uh the processed junk food all right that about wraps it up i just wanted to point that out regarding these books um overall they're pretty good books very informative but Remember, don't rely on eating the foods that are in here. Even the foods that fall under the category of eat this, I would take that with a grain of salt and try not to be, get in the habit of eating those types of foods. You want to eat stuff that is less processed. You want to stick to whole foods. Check out my other video on healthy foods in my home and um, that will definitely give you a better idea if you want to check out that video. So uh, just make sure you work out. Use this as a guide, but don't this is not the Bible of, of uh, weight loss, okay? So just remember that. All right, see you guys next time. You'd see a whole different side. I couldn't show you even if I tried.